hello guys on this tutorial we're going to talk about list list is an interface from a java collection framework and uh, in the java collection framework there are three main components which is uh, interface uh, in the implementation class and also the algorithm so list belongs to the collection and the implementation class of the list is array list so um, right now let's go and write the the java project and let's call this as uh, collections and uh, in here let's write the class and uh, this class is going to be list let me call list and, uh, and the package is collection and uh, here we have a class called list and I'm going to write the main method public static void And, um, and I'm going to write list interface and uh, I'm going to pass the string on the list string and uh, I have to give the name so list name and uh, also I need to use the list implementation class which is a um, array list and we have to import um, we need to import the list list control shift or and you have the array list here and here uh, I think we are getting error here because I have used this um, violated the Java rules by using this list so I have to refactor so right click and uh, refactor rename and give another name like exercise let's say X one and finish the finish now here we have to use list and we have to import list and everything now is fine so this is how you create the list by using the implementation of the list which is array list we can use the array list class create list, list name but this is a good practice using the list and implement by array list so now that we have this variable here we can add the list to our um, list of items to our list so the way you do that you, uh, you use this variable name list name dot add first we add a string for example name one and you close and uh, now you uh, duplicate and let's put name two and name four and now let's use the let's print out sys out um, the size of size of the list then I'll concatenate with the method called list dot size and if I save and run I get the size of list is 4 because we had 4 here so if I 
and I use uh, uh, let's uh, remove one remove item and uh, list dot uh, remove it argument so we have to remove um, uh, name one and we save uh, uh, this method here returns true or false so now it says that it has removed so if we copy this and paste it here and save and run it again so we see that we have removed one item from array from uh, the list so thank you guys next tutorial we are going to talk more about this one Just remember subscribe like bye bye